Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining us for this week's video. My name is Amelia and I am one of the educators here at Hawks Aloft. We wanted to continue our discussion about breeding season by talking about parental care in birds because one of the defining characteristics of birds is that they provide care for their young. Now parental care is the level of investment provided by the mother and father to ensure the development and survival of their offspring. Parental care is common in mammals and in birds and in a handful of reptile, amphibian, and even some fish species. Now parental care consists of anything that a parent can do to help its young to survive. So for some bird species, that can be as little as just finding a safe place to lay their eggs. And for other species, it can be as complex as spending several years raising and caring for their young. Now, sometimes parental care can come before the eggs are laid, which would look like finding a suitable mate to raise their young with, building a safe nest for their eggs, and making sure there's enough food available to before you even begin laying your eggs. And of course, parental care can occur after the eggs are hatching as well, such as sitting on the eggs, uh, feeding the young, teaching them how to look for food and how to migrate and how to survive in a dangerous world. There are two types of baby birds, altricial and precocial. Altricial birds are birds that are born without or hatched without the ability to care for itself. So all the raptor species are born altricial, many songbird species are altricial as well. So this means that the chick might be born completely featherless or with just a few feathers. Their eyes will be closed, they'd be unable to regulate their own temperature or hold their head up. These are some Swainson's hawk chicks that were fostered by one of our amazing foster parents, Swainson's hawks, many years ago because raptor chicks are altricial and need to be cared for by a species of their own kind in order to be able to survive in the wild. For bird species that are born altricial, the parents spend a considerable amount of time sitting on the nest, feeding their young, until they can grow and take care of themselves. Now the other type of baby birds are precocial, which means that the newly hatched bird can begin to look after itself within as little as 24 hours. So many game bird species such as ducks, quail, chickens, those are baby birds that are born precocial. So think of the baby ducklings who as soon as they have are born, they are born with feathers, have their eyes open and begin following their mother around within days of hatching, even taking right to the water and swimming when they're quite young. This does mean that there's less parental care after hatching as they don't have to sit uh, on the nest to keep the babies warm. Babies are able to move around and hide themselves if they are in danger and the babies can start to find their own food pretty early on. But precocial birds tend to have eggs that have larger yolks, which means that they have more of an investment before they lay the eggs. And it takes a lot more energy to lay an egg with a bigger yolk in it. Whereas a pre, a, an altricial bird species might invest less time into the actual egg and more time into the care of their young. Now in some bird species, they don't bother to raise their young at all. And so their only form of parental care comes from where they lay their eggs. The brood parasite, the cow, like a brown headed cowbird or a cuckoo bird lays its eggs in another species nests and relies completely on that other species to raise their chicks. So their parental care investment comes in um, making an egg that is larger than the uh, other species eggs and making sure that they are ready to lay that egg as soon as an opportunity arises where there is an empty nest for them to lay. 
the Australian brush turkey invests considerable time and effort into building and caring for an elaborate nest for its eggs. They use composting material to keep the eggs warm so that they don't have to sit on the nest themselves, but they do constantly monitor the temperature of the nest, adding and removing material as needed. However, once those eggs have hatched, the young are completely on their own. They are born precocial uh, and the Australian brush turkey parents do not provide any care after they have hatched. Now in 90% of bird species, both parents take care of the young. Usually this looks like the female sitting on the nest while the male brings her and her chicks food. Sometimes both parents take turns sitting on the nest such as in red-tailed hawk species. Uh, and sometimes only the mother does all of the care for the young. In hummingbirds, females sit on the eggs raise the chicks and keep them fed while males run off to mate with other females. When this happens with some duck species, the females will actually gather together and pool their eggs together in what's called a crush, and they raise them jointly so that all of the mothers of the eggs as well as some ants that are related to them can take turns guarding the eggs and helping each other. That's why sometimes you will see a mother duck with what looks like an insane amount of babies following her. They're not all her babies. Uh, she's just sort of has a daycare-like system with the other moms so that they all share in care of each other's young. Now in some species, the male does all of the parental care. Phalaropes lose a lot of their chicks to predation. So it's really advantageous for the female to try and lay as many eggs as possible. To do this, she goes from male to male trying to lay a bunch of eggs and she relies completely on dad to sit on those eggs and care for the young so that she can continue to lay more eggs until the end of the breeding season. Um, this is a really interesting strategy and relies heavily on the fathers. Now, ratite species, such as um, ostriches and emos, the lo those large flightless birds found on several different continents, exhibit male parental care as well. Cassowaries, such as the one pictured here that are found in Australia, have all of the parental care done by the males. He sits on the egg and he even will care for the young for up to nine months. I actually took this picture myself in the rainforest area of Australia. So as you can see, parental care in birds comes in many different forms from moms doing all the care, dads doing all the care, or them working together. It can come before the eggs are even laid. It can take place for months or even years after the eggs are laid. And sometimes all it takes is just making sure that you have a safe place to lay your egg, even if you're not going to be the one that's raising the chicks. However, it does exist in all species of birds. We want to take a moment to thank all of our wonderful photographers that work with us and allow us to share their beautiful photos. Uh, we wouldn't be able to make our Facebook posts or do these videos without the cooperation of these photographers. So thank you so much to them. We'd also like to thank our viewers for supporting us and tuning into our videos each week. Let us know if you have any questions or any suggestions for future videos that you would like to see. Thank you so much and we will see you next week.